welcome everyone to a new episode of the series Immortal Chess Games. We are still in the Romantic Chess era. This game was played at Noble House in Paris, 1858, between the American chess player Paul Murphy and two strong amateurs. Paul Murphy was the greatest chess master of his era, a chess prodigy and often considered as the unofficial world chess champion, he was called the pride and sorrow of chess because he had a brilliant chess career, but retired from the game while still young. Morphy started e4, e5, knight f3, d3. This is Philidor's defense. It is a solid defense, but slightly passive and it ignores the important d4 square d4 bishop g4 draft common at the time bishop g4 is considered inferior today e takes d4 or knight f6 are usual fielder's defense original idea f5 is a risky alternative e takes d bishop takes f3 Queen takes f3, d takes e, bishop c4 attacking the f7 pawn with a treat of checkmate, knight f6, queen b3, queen e7. Now if, now if queen takes b7, black can exchange queens and mitigate white's attack by queen b4 check. For this reason Murphy choose knight c3 c6 supporting his weak pawn bishop g4 b5 murphy sacrifices his knight knight takes b5 c takes b bishop takes b5 check knight b d7 castling rook d8 after looking at the position we can see why Murphy sacrificed his knight. All his pieces are active and his king is safe and he has a solid pawn structure and more space. The black pieces are crammed, knights are pinned, the bishop is out of the game, the king is stuck in the center. Rook take d7, rook takes rook, rook d1, queen e6. Queen e6 is a futile attempt to unpin the knight and allowing it to defend the rook. And offer a queen trade to take some pressure out of the white attack. Bishop takes d7 check, knight takes d7. Now Murphy played a fantastic move. Queen b8, check. Knight takes queen, rock d8, checkmate. This was the Paul Murphy Immortal game. I hope it will impress you. Thank you everyone for watching. Subscribe and like if the video was helpful. And see you in a new episode. Goodbye everyone.